Like, give me my fucking friend back. <laughs> He's mine, Logan. He's mine, Logan. <laughs> Take your white ears off. I'm not going anywhere. Mike? I love Mike and he's mine. Do you love her back? I think he's really sweet. Mike didn't say he loved you back. I don't care how he feels. I know how I feel, okay? <laughs> it's a little early. Like, I don't give a shit. Oh, wow. Suddenly, I'm so glad I'm single. <laughs> Go comment below, drop a comment below. They actually already have. They had some things to say about you. I'd like to read them now. Yo, Mike legit has a lasagna shaped body. Fat distribution so disproportionate <laughs> that it outdoes the per capita income disparity in third world countries. That I like. It was well thought out. It had actual terminology and also lasagna is delicious. Yeah, it's just what I was gonna say. My favorite pasta dish is lasagna. That's what I'm saying. Like, by the way, who's that? What's going on at fishing? You're gonna do it. I'm not doing it. Michael. Look at the difference in my bag. Everything in my bag is perfectly folded. Cause you're a little prissy bitch. What is- Egg. <laughs> Hey all you cool cats and kittens. It's me, Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do a quick lap down the, down the end there? Do like a quick sprint. <laughs> Alright, come on back. <laughs> and the whole wall on the apartment opens up. Come on. I mean, this shit's dope. It's been a good change of scenery, but I'm not gonna lie. I am sad. I really am. I miss my boys. Mm -hmm. And probably more than anything, I miss Dwarf Mamba. We've made it to my favorite portion of the book in chapter 32. By the way, she hasn't read this yet. Yeah, Are you excited? Really this is the first time, and it better be super sweet, and it better include three words that I love to hear. Does it? Does it? I don't think so. <laughs> in general. Like out here. Beautiful. Not better than me. Not better than you. <laughs> All right, we'll be back after the scheduled break. All right, so we just let's see how far you can come out of the pool without YouTube demonetizing this video. Or I could just stay in the pool because it's nice and warm in here and it's cold out. Just play the demonetization game with me, okay? You really want to get demonetized? Yes. Did you just say low key like dicks? <laughs> you low key like dicks? Listen. You know what, Michael? What? I'm really tired of these sexualizations of me. Well, guess what? And I don't think my mom would like it either. He did not just pull the mom card. <laughs> I don't think we can stick enough sand on here to make a nose as big as yours. <laughs> <gasps> hey, look at that PDA. Wait, hey, look at the PDA couple. I know, I'm still, it's never gonna change pool. it. It's never gonna change hey, our I thoughts. Be that couple We're not gonna be, but can I tell you something? Babe, what? You know how you always talk about having a baby? Yeah. Now's your chance. <laughs> that's some little girl's baby. It should be very upset. It is. Hi. Hi. Can I are you, what are you mad at me about right now? What did I do now? I texted you. And said what? What I have the postmates getting for us. Oh. And you didn't respond. And then you were watching everyone else's stories and reposted one of us, but you couldn't respond to your sweet little girlfriend who's been sitting here all day waiting for you. What if we take all of the money that you get on stage tonight, including wholesome OnlyFans content. <laughs> Do you guys think there could be a whole new vertical for like farm OnlyFans content? Can we call it Only Farms? <laughs> Where we just use vegetables. <laughs> I've never once used a cucumber. Never? I don't like whenever girls do it. I think it's weird. It's like, hey guys, watch me shove this giant cucumber. Oh uh, yeah, it's about <laughs> enough of that. Well, I quit boys, so I'm only doing cucumbers. I got you that. I always dreamed of giving you a nice flower next to a bank of corn. From that Twitter post on today's bonus episode of The Night Shift. We don't have any buttery toast because we don't have any fucking bread left. And get in. Now this is the life. This is the life. This is incredible. This is the life. Whoa, 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 whoa. slow down, seriously, stop, please. Please, no, 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 please. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I could have been badly injured. What's the best way to keep sex interesting and exciting during this quarantine shit? Eat his ass. To be honest, we just have like the best sex, so we don't need to try to keep it interesting. So last night we went to a dinner at my favorite restaurant in LA. Lana enjoyed the dinner so much. Wait, wait, wait. You really want to talk about this on here? Also, they insulted me at the door and told me- They assaulted her at the door. <laughs> Your eyes look like an icy blue landscape that I just want to ice skate on. You can. What if I told you it would just cost you a penny? I think a lot of you people probably wonder, what is on the floor of Lana Rhodes' bedroom? Well, I'll show you right now. A set of slutty angel wings. <laughs> Old Shake Shack. Some dysfunctional running shoes with barbecue sauce all over them. That's my phone. Oh, she knows the code to my phone now. She figured it out. I got it on the second guess. Your password was so fucking easy. What do you like to do now? Well, I haven't abused my power yet, but I'm thinking sometime whenever you're sleeping. 
Well, look who. Let's do it. Yeah. The question is, what number? Six. Sounds like six. Wait, are you sure? Yeah, six. Either nine or six. Six and nine are your numbers. Sixty-nine are your fucking numbers. <laughs> no, thank you. No, my birthday. Kind of fucked up, huh? No, my birthday's nine six, nine seventy six. I was born nine point six ounces at nine oh six a.m. Are you cool with six? I'm not sure she had a birthday. <laughs> I'll you. Ever see me get really kind of fired up? Freestyle a minute about each other. I am not ready for this. I'm not ready with gifts. I gotta take a piss. I might even have to take a shit. But there's one thing that doesn't suck, and that's her armpits. They smell nice. She's like ice. Her eyes are cold, but they don't grow mold. When she told me that she liked me, I was sold. There's not a single thing that she can do to make my love for her fold. I know sometimes I'm getting really old. And I know sometimes I don't wear enough gold, but I really do hope that you cherish and hold the moments that we share in your heart. But I like to fart. No. If I buy groceries, I use Instacart. I have a surprise for you. And stop trying to put your finger up my ass again. <laughs> I just spent like the whole beginning of this video explaining to the people the whole situation. Basically, someone put my hamster in one of those balls and the top fell off and my hamster ran away outside. There's a big manhunt going on for it, but I know someone that may have some news about my where hamster? I went. Yes. I got you. I know. I knew you were gonna say that. Dorf hamster. I want a extra large Syrian hamster. Oh, but you can't just buy any hamster. Now what are we gonna do with this? All right. It looks like a fucking mouse. I went to the pet store with Evan. He really wanted me to get the dwarf hamster for you. But I don't like that hamster. Here's the good news. Because we went to Petco, they have a great 30-day return policy. <laughs> are you gonna return the hamster? I think we have to. He's gonna feel so rejected. That I hamster peanut was the sweetest hamster on earth please come home peanut mommy misses you people are gonna start questioning your psychological strength right now <laughs> <laughs> how healthy you are <laughs> can you get away from my butthole why are you saying such mean things to me right before i leave you said you're not gonna miss me yes i am gonna miss you a lot you're just gonna fuck all these bitches i don't fuck bitches according to josie honey it's mike he can't get other girls <laughs> why did she say that <laughs> So we had to put like 16 people in this one house and it only had like seven bedrooms and I didn't get my own bedroom. That's just the way life is sometimes, you know? And I had to share my bed with Lana and Riley. And like, it's just the way life goes, dude. Like you, you do the best you can and you try not to get too upset about it. I'll see him come play. Do you guys know who that is? Have you seen her work? I, just I know you've probably know seen her work. Oh, oh. Detail. Oh, oh. Like, don't buy it too Oh my gosh. Me. What do you think of all this? This is the best day of my life. I'm in freaking heaven, touching and cuddling with little animals. What uh, what animal is your favorite? Um, I like the monkey, but I didn't like like us the girls. The monkey reminded me of a baby, and I wanted to cuddle it. Shout out all the new subscribers, all the people that saw the last vlog we put out. What are three things that they don't know about you? Um, I'm way cooler than Mike. Mike is my bitch, and. I'm way out of Mike's league. Wow, that was very nice of you. <laughs> you know me, I'm the sweetest. <laughs> hey man, that's my finger. You're chewing my finger off, buddy. Lemurs! And that foot is now a representing. Which I thought was like actually like. That's, that's kind of sweet, but. I knew that something was wrong because he didn't even text me goodnight and he always does. Aww. That's like so I'm, heartbreaking. I'm, so he was not honest. I tricked his ass. He's telling everyone, oh, at least I'm honest. That's not what fucking happened. <laughs> Being Mike's friend, I decided to do what every best friend should do and make the situation 10 times worse. If you guys have seen the last few vlogs, you may have noticed that Lana has taken a liking to our German videographer, David. Hey, it's David here, that Deutsche videographer. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you actually even noticed and pointed out on Twitter that the best way for Lana to get back at Mike is to fuck David. And honestly, it's a great idea. So before Mike shows up at Lana's house tonight on his apology tour, she has agreed to let me plant a naked, horny German in her bed. Dave, I don't know how to say it. I know for a fucking fact you're hard right now. I know you are! I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, here we go. If this works, I will be so surprised. How you guys feeling? Cupcakes? For me and David? What the f are you doing, bro? 
You what fucked the it fuck? up. You fucked it up, what Mike. The fuck? Mike, come here. Come back, Mike, come Mike, here. Mike, Mike. We need to talk to you. Mike. Listen in. Do you want to see what I put on for David? No, honestly, stop. This I'm, is fucked up. Not this is not funny. <laughs> like, this is fucked up. I still understand. This is the way she's paying you back. And I'm like, hooking up with my friend. My friend. At yeah. least it's me. You well, hooked up with some random heifer. Yeah, she, a fuck, it was a fucking mistake. I made a fucking mistake. Well, this is a, a David, planned thing David, with my dream. David found a mistake. Honestly, like, I think me and David have more in common. You, you fucked up. You fucked up. You're David, supposed to be the fucking David, night shift videographer, bro, and you're my boy, dude. What are you fucking doing? Right now? Why would you have a fucking connection? What are you doing, bro? What the fuck? Are you? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, get the fuck out of here, dude. I hate you, dude. I hate me, too. There has to be a line somewhere, bro. What the fuck? No, when I saw David fucking Lana, too, I was like, whoa. This is a lot for me to stomach right now. I came here, like, so focused on, like, fixing the situation, and the spawn of Hitler was fucking my girl, bro. <laughs> hey, good work, guys. We got him good. I'm happy to see this. I'm happy to see you guys are back together, sort of. We have a lot of talking to do. I'm gonna stop exploiting your life for content. Dave, let's go. All right, listen, I have Mike's location in my phone and he's in West Hollywood. He never leaves the house. So there's only one reason that he would be in West Hollywood. I fucking knew it! Who is, what are you doing? I knew it! Bro, why are you down here right now? You don't even live anywhere near here. Leave us alone! Go home! I know! I wanted to play games, then I was down to play games. It was time to do some research. After sitting down and reviewing the vlog footage, I was still unable to tell who this mysterious blue hooded woman was. So I had to take it one step further. Okay, I'm gonna check the security footage. No, too pixelated. No way to confirm an identity. And then suddenly, it hit me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> some like weird world you ever wake up here? You could have this, have this. She likes the hoodie. I'm gonna give it to her. To her give it to her. Give it to her. Oh shit! Oh my god! Did you have sex with your birthday present? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Did you? No. Was that who was over this morning? Yeah, but I didn't. We had a great night. We went and got fro uh, Froyo. And I know everybody wants to hear this story of sexual exploitation and just insane butt stuff. <laughs> but that's not the news report I have uh, to say. You want to know what there was? Some cheek kisses, some hugs, a lot of cuddling. And also, dude, this chick is fucking awesome, bro. And like, she's oh just my cool God. as fuck. I'm going to go ahead and take credit for the best birthday gift of all time. Oh, it's great. Because gi I've gifted you love. You guys make out, tongue, anything? Bro. Are you guys chomping it up? Laying it 34th birthday. I'm going to be honest. It's actually his 35th, but I'm going to say 34 because from now on, we're going in reverse. Mike is a young soul. Mike and I have known each other for five years. He is the co-host of my podcast, my roommate, my strategic business partner, and we have done a lot of crazy shit over the years. <laughs> oh, oh in your room. If you watch my stuff, you know that Mike is the peanut butter to my jelly. He is the SpongeBob to my Patrick, the Han Solo to my Chewbacca. You know, I love this guy. So, being the good friend I am, I wanted to do something nice for his birthday. The problem is Mike is very low maintenance. He's hard to get gifts for. You know, obviously I thought about going the Dobrik route, getting him a car. The problem is, uh, SeatGeek hasn't sponsored me yet, so SeatGeek, please help me. However, I did some thinking, and there is one thing that Mike loves more than anything. Porn stars, porn stars, the porn stars. There is one porn star that Mike has been wanting to meet forever, and she goes by the name of Lana Rhodes. Here's a picture of her. She got, she got a big old butt. Currently, she is uh, the number one porn star in the world. So if you're not familiar with her work, here's a quick clip. What if I told mom and dad? Okay, that's about all I can show. YouTube, don't worry. You don't have to demonetize this video because I have taken the liberty of doing it myself. After Riley Reed came on our podcast and uh, swallowed our microphone, she became good friends with me. And using her infinite connections in the porn industry, she was able to get me the inaccessible, unattainable, undeniable Lana Rhodes. Here you go, Lana. Here you go. <laughs> How old is Mike turning? Uh, 34. Oh, wow. How old are you? 24? I know, it's it's a weird friendship, right? Like, why am I friends with an old man? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! I got it for Christmas last year. Oh my 
Oh my god! <laughs> Let's make it out. Like that. Hi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm Abby. That, that's Mike's uh, birthday present. That's incredible. <laughs> wow. Does Mike even watch me? Mike loves you. Really? Mike's obsessed with you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a fan too. What video? Really what category? <laughs> I don't know. Stop it! Stop what, it! What? I watched you last night. It is in preparation just for, for this. Research? It's just weird. Yeah. It, was re it was strictly research purposes. But also, my fun. penis was we, in my hand. Wanted I wanted to know. How, like how your butt is like the way it is. It's not that big anymore. Do you want to see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're the number one porn star in the world right now. No, Riley. Well, like no, that's, but you're that's like... just on Pornhub. But Riley, technically, I think I was most searched, but Riley has the most views. This is you a big a... clout car right now. Yeah, <laughs> big clout. Did you guys see my uh, my recent league sex tape? No, I want to see you sucking. Today. It wasn't me. <laughs> you're sucking. Dick? No. It... Here's the plan. You know how Dobrik gives every every one of his friends cars. Okay, so I, I, give them porn stars. I give my friends porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna fake him out. I'm gonna blindfold him and put a, a tiny car in front of him. I, re I really wish I could afford this for real. I just I can't right now at this point in my life. And then I want you to stand behind him. Okay. And then he's gonna be like, ah, funny prank. And then he's gonna be actually surprised. Yeah, give him a hug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have one thing for your birthday. What would it be? Would you you know say? what my answer is. What's your answer? Uh, somehow, some way, uh, <laughs> I can't say because I'm starting to cry. Say it. A trip to a lazy river. Uh, <laughs> or, 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 if that's not the right answer, <laughs> a lightly toasted baguette. I, I, I fucking, I don't know, <laughs> dude. I, I know how much you wanted a vehicle. <laughs> now nah, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> On three, I'm gonna count down from three. I want you to take the blindfold. Can I go? I'm gonna you go down. Go down. Go down right? Right? It may seem easy. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> that's so. That's so. That's so sweet. Hi. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Man. Say hi. Hi. What's up? What's oh my up? god. What's up? <laughs> Holy Are you shit. happy birthday? Thank you so much. <laughs> so that's uh, that's my friend Lana. Like, I know she is. <laughs> this is the best gift. My mom never got me anything like this, bro. <laughs> I mean, what do we do? Like, I, I, do we go so to like a lunch? So this, like a business meeting? Like, this is where I actually have no plan. I have no, I don't know what is gonna happen now. So. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Can I appreciate can I, can this. I yeah, that was my favorite part. <laughs> that was awesome. Did you hear what she said? You give me a, a free premium Snap membership for my birthday. Oh! <laughs> she said she's been working on getting her butt smaller. How's that going for you? It's working. What do you think? It looks about as fat as it always has. I really do. You guys should come out to dinner with us for Mike's birthday. Aw. Thanks, bro. I, I appreciate it. I got you, bro. Bro, she's hot. No, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's hotly beautiful.